Hi, my name is Javier Albernoz, and today we'll be talking about some basic concepts of music editing for non-musicians. Music consists of four main elements, melody, harmony, rhythm, and timbre. The melody can be thought of as the tune of the song, while harmony is the chord progression or harmonic progression that accompanies that melody or tune. The rhythm is the subdivisions that form the time-based progression of music, and timbre refers to the characteristics of sounds of different instruments that make up the music. Now, of course, all of these are important when editing music, but one of the main things that you would need to worry about when editing together music is the rhythm. Rhythm is based on subdivisions that align to a specific grid, and that grid is determined by the time signature of the music. The most common time signature in music is the 4-4 four, four time signature. This specifies that there are four beats in every measure or bar, and the tempo or speed of the beats is determined by BPM or beats per minute. So a piece of music in 3-4 time would have three beats per bar or measure, and the beat is given by the quarter note. That's the four in 3-4 or 4-4 four, four time, the second number. Multiple bars or measure, measures in succession make up a phrase, and multiple phrases in succession make up a verse or even a chorus. So there's four beats per bar or measure in 4-4 four, four time, and generally four bars might make up one phrase. So let's look at a general example of music where the verses or choruses of a song might be seen as groups of four bar phrases. For example, verse one of a song could be eight bars long, which are two four bar phrases or even one complete eight bar phrase depending on the song. Verse two might be the same while the chorus is another eight bars of music, maybe again two four bar phrases, and the third verse, again eight bars. This is a common form of music referred to as AABA form, with the second A being a slight variation of the original A verse, so it could be referred to as A prime. Now, if we're looking within each phrase, we can see that whole notes would take up four beats or one entire bar of music. The next subdivision of a half note would take up half of a bar or two beats, while a quarter note takes up a quarter of the bar. That's equal to one beat. We can keep dividing further and further. Next would be eighth note, which is an eighth of the bar, so it's equal to half of one beat. So in that case, you're equally dividing all four beats in one bar into eight equally spaced notes. If you keep subdividing, the same happens for 16th, 32nd, 64th, and even 128th notes and beyond. So the most important thing to remember is that when you're editing music, you need to make cuts in ways that make sense within the musical phrase. That usually means you should only cut on a beat or a quarter note. Ideally, you would be making cuts at the beginning of a bar and, if possible, at the start of a phrase. Always remember that these are just general guidelines and some of these or all of these rules sometimes cannot be applied for all different forms of music. So you need to use your best judgment 
And what's important is to avoid making train wrecks or awkward cuts in the music, similar to a DJ trying to mix two songs together that just don't work and are at different tempos. It sounds like a train wreck. So use these general guidelines as a basic guide and often the work you're doing with music editing within your video editing software that can be later smoothed out in audio post-production. The image you see here show an example. On top, we have the original track without any cuts. This is a music track. And on the track below that, you can see it's labeled cut into chunks. And you have several cuts in the music. If you look at the grid above both, you can see that these are already cut and timed to bars. So the tempo of the music at 97 BPM was already entered into the DAW so that we can easily and quickly cut into phrases or bars or e beats or even smaller subdivisions. You can see that the first four bars of music, we made cuts at each bar one, two, three, and four. So when you're editing music, maybe for an animatic, remember that you may not go into as much detail lining up to a grid, going by bars and beats, figuring out the tempo so you can do all of this. But what's important is that you cut your music in a musical way.